Hi there gorgeous, happy affordable April to you. If you have not heard, every video coming out this entire month has an affordable theme or we'll be focusing on drugstore makeup. So if you'd like to be notified of new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday all month long, please subscribe and thank you if you do. Today I'm sharing the most iconic makeup and beauty products with you that have withstood the test of time. When I was putting this video together, there were a couple of makeup products that instantly stood out in my mind to add to this list. So let me know before the video gets started, are there any that instantly come to your mind when I say that to you? Some of these have been around for over 100 years, and some of them are just classic cult favorites that, for whatever reason, have become staples when it comes to makeup. So I'll share those with you in order of most recent to oldest makeup products, and I'll also sprinkle in some fun historical facts throughout the video. The first makeup product I have to share with you that has withstood the test of time has been with us since 1994, and that is L'Oreal's True Match Foundation. Why? Because not only was it one of the first makeup products of its kind to match so many different complexions, but it also adapted itself to your own unique undertone, making it the most natural looking foundation that was available back then. And I know since then they've made so many improvements on that formula. And to me, it is one of the best drugstore foundations out there. I have been most impressed by it in the past and very easy to see why it has been with us for over 20 years. The second iconic makeup product I have to share with you is the one that instantly came to my mind when I was putting this list together because I remember it so well as a teenager when I first got into makeup and it, the packaging really hasn't changed that much on it. And if you've already guessed it, yes, I'm talking about Maybelline's Great Lash Mascara. This one was so popular in the 80s, but it was actually released in 1971 one as the first water-based mascara. Not only are water-based mascaras much easier to remove, but they also dry a lot faster after the initial application, which was lacking in a lot of mascaras that had come out previous to the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. A water-based formula is also free of chemicals and oils, which can irritate sensitive eyes or those who are prone to allergies. And we have rain. Enjoy the ambiance of Florida. We haven't had rain in weeks. This is awesome. I think one of the other things that made this mascara so popular is, let's face it, the packaging. I mean, the packaging is brilliant in terms of grabbing your attention. That neon green, that neon pink, even though the color scheme has changed a little bit since it was first released, it's still very eye-catching. It's one that you can't ignore when you see it in the makeup section. The third iconic makeup product that has withstood many years and was initially released in 1953 is what I'm wearing on my lips today. So if you've been curious of what this is, it is Revlon's Cherries in the Snow. Now you know this industry is ever changing and anytime that you find a makeup product that you really love, it's only a matter of time before they discontinue it and replace it with something else. So the fact that this shade has been around since the 1950s speaks volumes about the magnificence of this color. And the reason why it is so popular is because it is more of a blue-based red, which means that it's universally flattering to many different complexions and skin tones out there. I feel like on me, it pulls very raspberry and looks a little more pink, and I've heard the same for other people too, but depending on your unique undertones, you may get a different color with it. It's still a really beautiful shade, and easy to see why it's been with us for so long. It seems like the 1930s was really the birthplace for a lot of makeup products that you will still see today, and this next one is no exception. It's not a makeup product so much as it is a beauty product, and that is Carmex's Original Lip Balm. This is one I used exclusively for so many years, long before I ever got on YouTube, and you could always find it in my purse, and now it's in my nightstand where I tend to apply it before I go to bed at night. It's still one of those that I swear by when it comes to chapped lips, especially in the dry winter months. It's one of the best products for bringing your lips back to life, literally, overnight. So it's very easy to see why it's been around since 1937. This next makeup product is one that I use all the time. You've seen it in so many of my videos. I've turned some people onto it. It's just an all around fantastic makeup product. And that is the Cody Airspun Translucent Powder. This one has been with us since 1935. 
The reason why I love this powder so much is not only does it give your skin an airbrushed flawless finish, but it's one of those that I consider to be a more neutral powder. And I've talked about this many times before, so if you've seen enough of my videos, you know what I'm getting ready to say. But when I'm testing out drugstore foundations, high-end foundations, doesn't matter what kind of foundation it is, I always tend to use the Cody Airspun powder because if the foundation is really good, then the powder performs really well. But if the foundation is bad, the powder does not compensate for that bad foundation. And it will pretty much put a light straight on it. It's a tattletale, but I absolutely love it. The only thing I don't like about it personally is the scent because it does have a more vintage smell to it. <laughs> Some people liken it to how their grandmother smell. I don't know, my grandmother never smelled like that. <laughs> They do make unscented versions of this powder now too. So if the scent is something that gets to you, then you can still use this powder in the unscented version and not have to worry about that smell getting to you. This next makeup product is mimicking one that I've already mentioned so far in this lineup. And that is another one from Revlon. And this is their nail polish version of the Cherries in the Snow color that I shared with you earlier when I was talking about their lipsticks, which makes sense because in historical decades past, it was a trend to have your lips match your nails, and that was a thing among women, and I know there are some women who still do that today, and there's nothing wrong with it, but I love that they kept this color in a nail polish form. This next product is not makeup, but it is a beauty product, and it's one that <laughs> took me back, took me way back. That is none other than Noxzema. How many of us used this? Oh, the second that I smell this stuff, I am instantly transported back to 1995. <laughs> but no, it's been around much longer than the 90s. This one has been in existence since 1914. And the number of different containers that this product has had alone is utterly fascinating. It's really neat to be able to look back on products like this that have been with us for so long and see how they have evolved and how the marketing has changed on them. I personally find that incredibly fascinating. But yes, it is still a favorite of mine. It's one that I, I really haven't used since I was a teenager and I picked it up again for this video. And I was reminded about how much I really loved it when I was younger and how great of a product it actually is. And the last beauty product that has withstood the test of time is none other than Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. This one has been around since 1846. I had some conflicting dates with this one. It's a little hard to track down exactly when it came onto the market. Some articles I was reading said 1907, and then some said 1846 was when the formula was created, somewhere in there, but it is literally one of the oldest makeup products that is still in existence today. It does a really good job of removing makeup. It does leave your skin very, feeling very moisturized after you have taken everything off. I don't personally like it from the standpoint of I feel like it's a little greasy feeling afterwards. That's just me. I know some people still swear by it, but Again, there's a reason why it's been with us since 1846, 1907, whatever the case may be. It's, it's been here over 100 years. I say that it's pretty good. So were there any makeup or beauty products on this list that surprised you? Did you know they had been around that long? I did not. I mean, I, I'd heard of Revlon's Cherries in the Snow before, Maybelline Great Lash, Cody Airspun, but a lot of these other ones really surprised me. Let me know if there are any that you can remember from your youth or any that you know that have been around for many, many years. Would love to hear your feedback on this topic. And if you like videos like this, I have another one planned next week. I'm going to try to do more of these historically themed style of videos because I know they're really interesting and they're always so much fun for me to research and put together for you. So share your ideas below if you have any. Thank you so much for being here, for taking the time to watch. I hope you have a wonderful weekend ahead. I look forward to seeing you again next week.